The splinter conservative Pardon Party promised to put national security first in an address to parliament and offered an explanation for why it broke away from the ruling Senduri Party. Jimmy Gil zooms in on the last in a series of addresses by the four leaders of each South Korean party outlining their policy priorities. In his remarks to the National Assembly, Padam Party floor leader Chu Ho Young called on the political parties to work together to address the security challenges facing the Korean Peninsula. There cannot be a confrontation between the ruling and opposition parties where national security is concerned. Therefore, I propose establishing a bipartisan committee to make our security policies consistent. We must take action for our national interest. Chu said the Patton Party supports strengthening this whole Washington alliance as it serves as the cornerstone for effectively dealing with South Korea's security challenges. Concerning the deployment of the THAAD missile defense system to South Korea, Chu said the system is the best solution for deterring North Korea's threats. He criticized politicians whose stances on the THAAD deployment have been inconsistent, saying that their behavior will only jeopardize South Korea's security. Chu also took the time to explain why he and his fellow party members had to leave the ruling Henry Party and create the Patton Party. Chu said he and the lawmakers who left could not cope with the ongoing factional feud within the Henry Party. He said he felt great responsibility for the power abuse scandal involving the president and her confidant Choi Soon Shin, and criticized the Henry's pro Park Geun-hye lawmakers for refusing to take full responsibility for it. He also called on all parties to respect the constitutional court's ruling on the motion to impeach President Park. We must, without question, accept the Constitutional Court's decision on whether it will uphold or dismiss the parliamentary impeachment motion. Chu concluded by promising that the Patton Party would preserve the true values of conservatism. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.